Hello, I am Wallace, the Polish toy guy. Welcome to my new video. Today I feel like reviewing something both nostalgic and Lego, and I think one set that I have that combines both of these aspects is this Ultra Light 1 set. It was released in 1990 by Lego in the Town Airport series before it became part of City. It has two minifigures, 28 pieces in total, and this was one of the earliest sets I had. Okay, to be more accurate, this was my older brother's set, but we did share our toys as long as we promised to each other we wouldn't break them. And thankfully, breaking something like Lego is very hard. And yes, this is a light single-seater plane, and it's super, super simplistic, to the point where I would not be surprised if someone saw not a plane, but more like a set of five planks of plastic connected together with a propeller, wheels and a figure at front. Super simplistic, budget-like toy. It was cheap compared to other LEGO sets when it was released, but honestly I don't mind the simplicity. Back in the older days, I think LEGO relied a bit more on our imagination and this is a perfect example because this has no means of flying, no, okay it has an engine but yeah it definitely does not look like a realistic plane, even the glider ones, but yes a kid will identify this as a plane so the main function is served and the control sticks, two of them Something like this. I don't know what's this supposed to be part of the big part of the control system. I don't know, but uh, it might be as well a decoration. But yes, we have a place for the figure. And as you can see, the wings have a nice cut in them so that the head can rest here. And once we remove the pilot, this gets even more imagination driven. It's a nice grey, red, white piece. Okay, this is more like slightly yellow tinted now, but it's aged. This was originally white, definitely, but you know. Even if you hold it away from the sun, age does its thing. But I don't mind, this is not something that I want to show off to people. This is a memento of my childhood, a really good one. So this is much more a nostalgic piece than a collector piece and I don't mind its current state. And this is also nice in the way that while some parts are not connected very tightly to each other, if it snaps you just reapply it and you don't have to spend hours building out some layers so that you can replace something that was beneath, so that's nice. Of course, the landing gear, three pieces, which are actually, I think, rubber or soft plastic. They don't hide because they don't have a place to hide. But I don't mind. Like I said, super, super simplistic toy. It's great for people with big imagination. But at least we, we have moving control sticks. That's something. Now let's take a closer look at the figure, starting from the pilot, who looks a lot like Benny from the Lego Movie, which I do like. And aside from the helmet, his pilot stylization is very simple, as you can see there's nothing on the back that would indicate his job. At the front we have three white details, we have part of his color over here, we have this diagonal zip, and we have another zip for the pocket, and that's it. Yellow hands, yellow face, clear blue opening visor like that and a very, very tight helmet that's so tight that on my piece it actually comes off with the head, so, you know. Well, usually it does. As you can see, this is very loose, and it goes off pretty easy if you want to behead your LEGO figure for some reason, and this is just two dots and a bow, nothing more for face, no second face, no hair add-ons, so yes, very simple, but I guess well working for the purpose figure. The second figure is airport stuff figure, also very simple, red pants, red removable cap, no face behind, again 
completely white body with yellow hands and the only indication that he is from the airport stuff is this plain detail with these stripes of multiple colors at front and honestly this kind of looks like a motif that could be on a sweater worn by an 80s kid, it looks like so. The coolest thing about this figure is its walkie-talkie which is simple in details but it has a loudspeaker on the back, it has the antenna and it has some switches on the side as well as two studs to connect other Lego pieces and as you can see it works with hands pretty nicely. And yes, this hand is so loose that you can actually spin it around and around without any effort. And because this has working wheels, the plane spins well on the ground, but you have to pay attention where do you apply pressure to. Because if you put it over here, for example, you are in for an ollie. So you better take your finger and put it on the front of the wings or at the front of the construction, unless you like skater tricks which also I have no problem with. And now let's compare Ultralight 1 to some other plane based toys. For example Transformers. Here we have Generation 2 Windraiser and here we have Hunt for the Decepticons Jetblade. And going back to Lego, here we have Energy Slicer and Town Flight Aerial Hawk. And finally, here's our set next to the common cola can and the magnificent one dollar. To sum it all up, Ultra Light 1 is a very simple set both in terms of build difficulty and overall handling, which may not be something all LEGO or airplane fans would like to take interest in. But if you have a fuel tank full of imagination and childhood nostalgia, you will definitely enjoy this toy. And that's all for this video review. I will be back with the next one soon. And until then, stay well.